What's going on everyone, MetalBlade427 here, and I present to you, what a game, Paper Mario. In the last episode, we made our way here to Flower Fields, a land of sentient plant life and various other enemies and whatnot. Uh, our goal is to get a magical bean to plant right here in order to sprout it all the way up to the top of the clouds in order to fight the evil Huff and Puff. And in order to do that, we have a bunch of different quote unquote puzzles in order to solve. And really, it's not much of a puzzle. It's we need to collect all the different things that we can find, the bean, the fertile soil, Oil and the magical water, plant them, and then go on up. And in order to do that, we need to get ourselves past various uh, plants. And in order to do that, we have to feed them crap. Like this guy, we fed him a red berry. He is happy because he is red and he ate something that was red. So we opened the gate for us that let us proceed. That's how this particular area stops you from moving too forward too fast. You have to open things up and then collect things. This is one big fetch quest. Flower Fields is one giant fetch quest. Anywho, let's move ahead. We have a bazap right here, but I'm going to keep the battle in because, as you can see... Oh, wait, we already, um... Did we talk to this guy already? Did we fight this thing? Yes, I did fight this thing in the last episode because I happened to run into him. That's right. See, I don't even remember everything that I do sometimes. Alright, no big deal. I'll keep the fight in. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, that's what I get for forgetting what I tattle on and what I don't tattle on. I shouldn't have tattled on him. I should have just opened the gate and called it an episode, but that's alright. No big deal. We are full powered. We are fully healed. We can now beat up the rough puff and take him down that way. I don't think those guys appeared in any other Mario games. Maybe they did. Maybe they were just clouds. They're just named clouds now. That's a lot of coinage. Thank you very much for that, sir. I think there's another rough puff over here. There he is. Oop, there we go. All right, took him down, no problem. They love to give me coins, and I love that. So we have here a tree, and within this tree we get yellow berries. They restore three HP and three FP, so that's not a bad item to have. I'm actually going to use one of those right now. It's a nice quick pick-me-up from Mario, because if you every time you leave and come back in, it resets the two berries, so you'll be able to get yourself six HP and six FP really quickly just by walking back and forth and hitting that tree. How am I doing, by the way? No, I'm fine. See, I just needed that one, and I need the yellow berry in order to open up the other gate. Anywho, what the hell do we have here? That's a weird thing on your face there, lady. Look at this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey, because everything around here is named after flowers. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose! How rude! Oh boy! Sorry, honey. Didn't, didn't mean to be pointing at it. Oh, updated did it again. Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. Not lying, it was the soil. I happen to like it! <laughs> Your nose is pretty nice, too! I could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take the soil with you? So she literally handed us a pile of crap! You know, in order to make uh, flowers grow, you need piles of manure, which is fertile soil. Yeah. Ugh. Absolutely pollutant-free, I bet. This smells like very good soil. I wouldn't put that too close to your face, Mario. Your nose would be perfect soon, tee <laughs> Okay, so that was the entire purpose of talking to this flower here. There's another purpose later, but we won't get into that until we need to. So just kind of remember that this flower right there is below a crystal tree, and I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah, right, I forgot about the... Uh, oh, I was right on top of it. Ha! Give me that star piece. Completely forgot that it blinked at me whenever I walked into here. That's what happens when you go and you encounter enemies. They just kind of distract you from more important things, like star pieces. Anyway, we have yellow berries, and the yellow berry flower is over here, so why don't we talk to this guy? You know, good. He's got nose Mario. It's good to see us. It's nice, but of course, he too is a little bit hungry. So we need to give him something that will satisfy his taste buds and open the door, and that will happen to be a yellow berry. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Of course he's going to love it. Blah, bravo, magnificent, a sweet, subtle flavor with a delicious finish. Mm. And such marvelous coloring. It reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. Ah, oh, that's very nice. Very poetic. Very nice. Um, there is a, as you can see up there, a super block. I am actually going to ignore that super block for right now. I will be back later in order to pick it up when I have somebody else. There, there's another party member. Why did I do that? Oh, crap! <laughs> 
Whoops. Uh, there's a new party member that I will be getting soon that I would rather use the super block on. But until then, we need Paracarry in order to get us across this little gap thingy here. I, yes, I know I already have that partner. I want him to fly me. Thank you. Now, in this area... Nope, okay. See that little patch of flowers back there and those two uh, crazy daisies walking around it? There is a chance that you may encounter an enemy there. And that enemy is the best, best, best best enemy in order to grind yourself up to level 27 on. It'll happen really quickly, but it, there's only a random chance that it'll be there. You need to have yourself on, as you can see, my Mario has the Dizzy uh, badge on. It, it really helps in order to hit that enemy and cause dizziness the moment you get to them. There's also a star piece. Very nicely hit. You can kind of see a little poking up on the side. There we go. Um, what do we got here? Blues. I need two blues, actually. But yeah, if that enemy happens to be there, then you would want to hit them with the Dizzy in order to stun them for a turn and then take it upon yourself in order to beat them down as fast as you possibly can. And what if I happen to run into that enemy, which I hope I will soon, I will explain to you exactly what I mean. No, I don't need sushi. I need what? Come here. I need what here because I know that there is a hidden block in this area. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, I can actually see it right now over here. I don't remember where all the hidden blocks are. I know I've said that many, many times before. But um, those that I do remember, I will pick up. There is also... Ah, we got... No, don't fall down this way. Get back here, you. The star piece that my little radar thing dinged at me the moment I came into here. Uh, if you waited to get that, there may be water down here. You would just need sushi in order to dive down in order to get it. Come here, Gabario. I'm going to keep you around because... I know that there is important things all around this area. And we have here another flower. Gah, oh how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither, poor Lily. Sad for you. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. <gasps> oh, um, prince. Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily, because I'm named after a flower, just like everything else here, apparently. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. Um, to tell the truth... I have to ask you to do me a favor. Would you please get me my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Um, sure, I guess. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Yeah, that, that looks like a stone, all right, and it's blue. That's generally the color associated with water. Please find it. Okay, so that's our next uh, mission objective. Find the water stone. Because it will be part of the three components we need in order to grow the bean sprout. We have the bean already, we need uh, the magical soil, which we got, and then of course the magical water, which I assume Lily will give us. Come back here to this tree and whack it. We'll give you a gem and jo- Oh, no, 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 go away, Dizzy Dial. Screw this thing, I don't need that. <laughs> I need the jam and jelly way more than I need the Dizzy Dial any day of the week. So there you go. Nice item right there, something for us to uh, put into storage and to use later because those jam and jellies are extremely hard to come by and we need them for anything and everything that we can get. Uh, be here? Yes? Oh, there he is! There it is! Okay, okay, um, I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need in order to beat this thing. Um, you know what, let me actually go into my badges. I am going to take off a bunch of things. I actually would like to have six points back because I'm going to put on my second power plus. Perfect, so now Mario has increased his power again by one. I do have the Dizzy Dial on, so let us go and charge! Nice, running into the new enemy. Oh, you went all Dizzy-like. Mar uh, Gumbario, quickly tattle on this thing. This is an amazing daisy. Amazing daisies are so rare that they are also called the legendary crazy daisy. I like amazing daisy better. Max HP 20, attack power 20, defense 1. These guys almost always flee at their first chance. It would be nice to beat one, but be careful, their attacks pack a powerful punch. 
So yeah, in the off chance that this thing actually attacks Mario, it will do a massive amount of damage. So you really want to beat this thing quickly. And that is why you want to dizzy it as soon as you can. 20 points of health is a kind of a lot to knock this thing out right off the hop. So definitely you want to power up Mario as much as you can. And then just barrel at it with as much power as you possibly can hit. So that was six points. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, kill this thing. Ah, uh, crap, I don't have anything else. Well, here goes nothing. Yep. One and two. Eight. Um, I'm gonna try... Now, I can't do multi-bonk, because if you multi-bonk, it'll start to slowly take away points, and eventually Gumbario will only do one point of damage, and that won't do anything in order to beat it, so... Maybe it'll attack me this turn? I doubt it, because it's at four health. Yep, there it goes. Oh, you bastard. But I will show you guys at some point exactly how many points of, um, get, get, go away. Uh, how many points of star points that that thing will be able to give me. It's a lot. It's a massive amount. There's another way that I could use in order to beat it. Um, I was just kind of thrown off by the fact that it was there. Maybe later on I'll be able to show you guys exactly what it all does. Put sleep stop back on and then, uh, make a quake. Alright, uh, back to my party members. Paracarry need to carry me across. But yeah, those are Maisy Daisies. There's only a chance that they'll appear in that one spot. And then if they do appear, you definitely want to be able to knock them out and take them down as fast as possible. So the stronger Mario is, the better chance that that is to happen. And the star points will just roll in and you'll be at level 27 before you know it. Uh, back with Goombario. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a side path. I figured out that puzzle with the tree. The guy was lying to me, that little weird, uh, uh, what is it, that weird plant over there. Um, let me take out the enemies here. So this way I won't be disturbed while doing my shtick. Oh my god, I got a maple syrup. What do I not need? Uh, the stinky herb I don't need. I can always come back to those later. No big deal on that. Can I use anything? Nope, I'm actually pretty well set here. Alright, come here, zap. Multi-bounce to the rescue. Okay, so we have ourselves three trees here. Now, he told us to hit it, like, right, left, whatever. And the way that this works is if you hit a tree and it's the correct tree, nothing will fall out of it. If you hit the tree and it's the wrong tree, then a bazap will fall out of it. So what we need to do is we need to hit them middle, right, left. And then from that falls... The Happy Flower Badge restores HP, or FP automatically during battle at a slow rate. So we have the HP or Happy Hearts Badge, which is basically your regeneration for health badge. Now you have a regeneration for your magic badge, and that is what is in this tree. That will, can be obtained by uh, trading in uh, star points, uh, star pieces, I'm sorry, to Merlot, but that is a way to get it for free. So that's very nice to have. We're going to walk past Petunia here, and we're going to go back to the well. The well... The well I figured out, you can throw all of your berries into it. And normally he's going to throw an enemy at you, but you got to keep in mind, this guy is sad. He is upset. And what is usually associated with that? Feeling blue. So this guy actually wants something blue. A blueberry, for example. And he's a little upset that we're throwing crap down as well, but... He is happy that it's a blueberry. He loves these. Oh, and in return, he gives us... The point, the 25 star point badge that Merlot was having, the flower saver badge. During battle, saves one FP every time you attack. Saving one FP really comes in handy. I mean, one less flower point per attack is really, really helpful, especially if you're a mage Mario of sorts, because then you're able to cast more attacks that way. Um... It costs like seven badge points in order to put on. Where is this thing? It's like way down. There it is. Oh, six. All right. Six uh, flower points or badge points in order to put on Flower Saver. But, I mean, is it worth it in the end? Maybe. If, again, if you're a big caster of the spells and whatnot. But I'm going to leave it for right now because there are other things that I would rather use my badge points on. Get, get away. Oh. All right. Win's a win. Wonderful. Give me the coinage and let's keep a move on. Get away. I may just keep this dizzy badge on for a while. That saved me from getting hit by one of those things. Go, 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 go. All right, so now that we did that with the blueberry, we still have one blueberry left. And in order to proceed forward, we need to go find this guy, the blue plant. This one just blatantly tells us that he's hungry. So 
He's not even going to cut to the chase of, uh, you know, oh, you're Mario, you've come to save us. Oh, wonderful, yada yada yada. Let's just go ahead and give him the blueberry and make him satisfied. Yay! Chomp, 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 chomp. Delicious, splendid. There are good blue things. Yeah, there are good blue things. I mean, I got a free badge that was worth a lot from them, so definitely, definitely good blue things. Oh, crap. I knew that was a new enemy, and I saw he was over there. I was trying to hit him before he hit me. But that's okay. So, tattling on a brand new enemy in this game, though we've seen them before in other Mario games. This is a spiny. Spinies have spikes on their shells that are pretty sharp. Max HP 5, attack power 4, defense power 3. They'll roll into spiny eggs and slam into you. It'll be much easier to fight them if you can flip them over. The defense power falls to zero. So, just like all other enemies that have hard shells on their back or anything like that, you want to flip them over. And the best way to flip them over is with a Mega Quake or any type of Quake ability. Actually, the one lower than this would be just as fine, because I think that does 5 points of damage. So, if you wanted to save on some FP, because it's 2 FP per uh, Quake, you can go with that one. But I like my Mega Quake, because it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Alright, don't be smashing that block, because this is actually a hidden block section. Let us put on what? Come on, give me it. Stop it. There we go. Smashing this gives us one coin, but then we have this spring right here that we can jump on. That we can jump on and reveal a hidden block right there, which we can go to smash and get ourselves a shooting star. An attack item that has an attack power of six that hits all enemies. Which is something I'm actually going to be using not too long from now. Um, what? Not bad in this area because of the spinies. Uh, he, of course, can't... She, I'm sorry, she can break their defense. But I have Quake, so... Yeah, no! Oh. So, as I was saying, my Quake wins. Spinies do not. Quake does. Moving along through this cool area, we come across... Hey, look at these guys! More familiar faces from various Mario games. Hey, you drop it, idiot! Puff and Puff will be able to have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It just gotta be around here somewhere. It just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. Let's look for that stone later. Let's get rough. Let's go rough this guy up. Dude up. Whatever. Don't matter. Oh no, Mario. Are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right mental state. I'll forget it. I'll fight anyways. Here it comes, Mario! And they charge at us furiously! New enemies, new enemies, new enemies! These are... Lakitus! Or Lakitus! I don't know. There's multiple ways I've heard pronunciation of these guys, so I call them Lakitus. Lakitus are strange Koopas that can ride clouds. Max HP 12, attack power 3, defense 0. They toss down spiny eggs, and these sometimes turn into crawling spinies. We better deal with them quickly or else you'll be surrounded by spinies. It seems like these Lakitus have been hassling you for your entire career, Mario. It's true, they have been. We've seen them since the original Mario and almost every Mario since then, but they have helped as well. They are very good camera guys. I mean, have you seen, uh, you know, Mario 64? around you, diving in the walls, and all kinds of crazy crap like that. Anywho, why don't we start this battle off right by using the shooting star, because I need to clear up my inventory a little bit, and I wouldn't mind getting the coins from it. So, smashing on down with this. Boom, 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 boom. At least the spine needs to take him down. And, uh, what are you gonna do? Whoop! Oh, he attacked me! Nice! What are you gonna do? You gonna do the same thing? There you go. Funk. So yeah, these guys do have the option of sending out spinies and continuously throwing them out, thus creating new enemies, but if they don't do that, you can just simply jump on them. Quick Hammer is good for the spinies, they will not hit the Lakitus because they are up in the air, so you're going to have to try to strategize your way in order to beat them. If they had thrown out spinies, I would have probably shot my shooting star out in order to take them out and all the spinies, but as you can see, jumping was no problem. Bye guys! Catch you around, see you later! Okay, so what do we have here? We have ourselves a hedge maze. Ooh, this is very reminiscent of my Resident Evil 4 run through. Um, this is not as crazy as that, though. There's a lot of confusing areas to go through, but nothing that complicated. If you go into any one of these pipes, as you can see here, it just kind of brings you to another portion of the map. 
and you can just move yourself around and get yourself back to where you have to be. Now, there is one set path to this, and that would be this way. Follow the leaves or the jumping Mario, and you'll be able to get out of here no problem. It's a little weird because there's false doors everywhere. Like, this hedge right here is a door, but you would never known it unless you were, like, walking up against uh, the side. Same thing for that, and same thing for here. This is the pipe that you want, this pipe in the dead, dead center. Because this brings you to the pipe that leads you to the end. All these are, like one-way pipes to bring you back and forth between the two. Ah, come on, there we are. So that's the pipe that you want. All the other pipes will just bounce you back and forth between the two of them and just create a really big headache for Mario because he kind of loses track. Anywho, right here we have ourselves another living flower. This one, very interesting little setup you have here, my dear. Oh, hello. It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a Rose Spirit. Really? I never would have guessed. I thought your name would have been like Thorny or something like that. I'm ever so grateful to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. You flowers are very narcissistic. I mean, really. Please, admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? Um, sure. Why not? Whatever floats your boat there. Really? I'm that beautiful? Oh, you're so honest and charming. Yeah, sure, okay. And underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. I like you, and because I like you, I'll show you this! Ta-da! Woo, woo, woo! I want it, I want it, I want it! This stone, isn't it beautiful? I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What do you say? I should give you this stone? Oh, dear. You're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How oh, very sad. Oh, well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see? Man, you are a nasty flower. Come on. You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Huh. How sad. Really. How pitiful. As hard as it is to believe, that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. Really? Seriously, all these flower these flowers are like frenemies in the Mario game. Like, what the hell? She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see. Tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I think I'll be uh, I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. Wow, mean flowers. Mean girl flowers. Wonderful. So we now need to go and find an item that is prettier than that stone in order to give Rosie, in order for her to give it to us. And what's more prettier than a standard stone? Well, you know, it's something that's a girl's best friend. Um, I would probably say diamonds in this case, but I'm pretty sure crystal would fit the bill. Oh, get away from me! So where do we know that is shiny and pretty and that we could possibly get something from? Well, uh, what's pansy? Posy? No, Petunia's the other one. I don't remember. I don't remember flower names. I don't really care. But we need to head over this way to the flower that is right here underneath the crystal tree. Big nose, I need your help. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful? Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. Yeah, well, I noticed that being a friend around here. She's a little self-involved. Have you ever noticed? You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots. So maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. Yeah! Yeah! Wow, that was crazy! Alright! Phew! Whoops! That was a bit unladylike. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. Well, that's very nice of you. Finally, a flower that's doing something other than for yourself. So we get the crystal berry. Glittering berry made of crystal. Uh, let's go bring it back to the crazy rose now in order to get our water stone. Fetch quest, fetch quest, fetch quest. I love these fetch quests. And that's really the only reason that makes flower fields as long as it is. The running back and forth between the flowers, getting them the things that they need. And I... Stupid fence! No! Oh well, star points are star points, and what can I say, that dizzy attack thing really does save my butt. 
I mean, I ran into him as he was charging at me, and he started dizzy, and I took no damage. So, maybe there's something to this badge then. Hmm. Also, a lot of other badges that I've been experimenting with that have a lot more potential to them than I initially thought. Usually, I just power up Mario like crazy with power-up badges, but it's pretty cool experimenting with all the other different ones in order to try different strategies and whatnot. Anywho, we made our way over here. Give me the damn uh, stone now, will ya? Have you found anything? Yes. Take this. It's also plant-like, so it goes with your whole motif and whatnot. Oh, how pretty. I love it. That's so much nicer than this ugly old stone. You better hurry back and give this stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. That's how I pred predicted her saying that, because, you know, that's just how someone like that would talk. Oh, heart, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Ugh. Who is the most beautiful flower in all the flower fields? That is me, of course. Wow, you're worse than all of them, Rosie. Like, really? I mean, you're surrounding yourself with... Like, would it be your own kind? Other roses and whatnot? That's... Did you kill them in order to hang them up for them to stare at you and your beauty? Wow, this game just took a very dark turn with that thought process. Anywho, let's move our way as fast as we can past these spines down to Rosie. Because the last thing I want to do here is go and give her back the uh, water stone and make her all nice and happy. Give me Paracarry, because he is what I need in order to get past this area for now. Yes, there will be... Ah, I was missed. There will be other ways for me to get past these spines uh, a little bit later, all these weird thorns. I like the way that they move. It's kind of creepy that they're all like slinking around and things like that. So let's run this way. And this way, and up, and then we get to go and take the water stone right to her. All right, lovely-ish thingy. Oh, it's the water stone! Quickly, put it in that hole! Uh, okay. That was a weird. We're gonna actually gonna put on sushi, because, you know, she knows a thing or two about water. And water stone! In! Doesn't exactly fit in the hole there, but, you know, whatever. Better than nothing, I guess. Whoa, water spout! I think Mario was right there in, like, the sit position, or else, you know, he may have pushed him all the way to the side and crushed him. Him and his paper self. Water, water everywhere! Woo! But that completes that particular goal. Hey, look at that tree! Look at those things on the tree! They kind of look like bubbles! I wonder what flower needs bubbles! Oh, it's water! Sweet water! The spring is full of water! I'm floating again! Oh, this is paradise! Thank you so very much! I'll give you some miracle water from this spring! Here you go! Ta-da! Now we have the third component to make the beans grow! But there is a fourth component that we were not told about initially until now! This is the most uh, notorious... Okay, let's try it again. This is the most nutritious water around. It's water with uh, a little lily extract. It's water with a little lily extract? What the hell did you put in this thing? If you use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like gangbusters. You have some really weird language that you're using, Lily. Uh, but not right now, because there's no sun. Oh, yes, great idea. You should get, go about seeing getting the sun back into the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some ideas about how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it. You saved me, after all. So yes, the fourth component to making the bean sprout grow is sun, which we do not have of, because as I pointed out in one of the past episodes, it's all cloudy and whatnot here in Flower Fields. That's what's ailing everybody. But back here on this tree, we have a new type of berry. A bubble berry restores five HP. What am I doing with health right now? You know what, why don't I grab it? Just to have it, just in case I need it. And that is uh, pretty much all we needed to do in this episode. We're going to head back now to the save point, and I'm going to end it off right there. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427 In the next episode, we'll work towards getting back the sun, because that is an important aspect to flower fields, you know, photosynthesis and whatnot. Did these guys do that? I mean, I would assume they do that because they're flowers, but no one really ever uses those type of wording and whatnot. 
Oh, well, whatever. I guess we'll find out all in the next one. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later. Frolic through the fields. Woo!